Um, I'll go into chapter four. I'll get a quick read through on chapter four. And then I'm going to go into, um, I'm going to go into chapter six with Daniel in the lion's den. And then I'm going to, I'm going to start transitioning into Ahasuerus or Artaxerxes and how Daniel was around during that time. And then I'm going to transition into, um, and that's chapter nine. That's chapter nine that has Ahasuerus or Artaxerxes. And then from that point, I'm going to skip over to, um, the book of Esther, because Esther was the queen during that time when, uh, uh, when Artaxerxes or Ahasuerus came into power, Esther began, became the queen. And also another, uh, another, uh, there was another lesson I had done going into the Medes and the Persians, a history lesson going into, uh, the book of Nehemiah and the book of Ezra. Anybody who may have read those lessons, I had said that I would, I would come back later and verify that Shushan was the capital of the Median Empire. It says that in the book of Esther, the book of Esther chapter 1, in verse 2, in those, day, in those days King Ahasuerus sat on the throne of his kingdom, which was in Shushan, the citadel. So that was the capital of, uh, of the Median Empire, or Persian, Persian Empire. And I think it still is today. Boom, right there. Right there. Susa. That means Shushan. And around 550 BC, which is when Cyrus the Great came into power. And then from that point, you had uh, you had his son Cambyses, and then you had uh, one more, his younger son that was a governor, and then after that, around 539, you had Darius come into power, and then from that point, uh, Darius got slain, and uh, no, that was around 522, Salakia. Darius had gotten slain, and then you had Xerxes, Artaxerxes, Ahasuerus, and it, it continued on from that point. So, uh, as I said, I'm going to break off here, and it'll either be right after this that I get into uh, chapter 6, and then I'm also going to... Yeah, I'm going to get into chapter 6, and I'm going to get into chapter 7. I may get into, uh, yeah, I may get into chapter 7 first. So I may touch on chapter 5 and chapter 7 because it talks about Belshazzar. And this is all Lord willing through the Spirit. But I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to, uh, if the Lord may will it, I'm going to touch on chapter 5, chapter 7. And then, uh. Possibly chapter 8, because it talks about how we were trampled down. Yeah, but I'm going to be going through the book of Daniel. And then when I touch on uh, Daniel chapter 6, I'm going to get a couple inserts from the Apocrypha. And when I touch on Daniel chapter 9, I'm going to go to the book of Esther. But, um... As always, I hope this lesson was edifying to y'all. Until next time, I'm going to end by giving infinite honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Hahur Gakwadash, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Hahur Gakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who teach and rule well, and Shalom to the Akim and Agwafim out there learning along, doing your due diligence, and making your calling of election sure. Until next time, Shalom.